All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over fundamental counting principle, specifically related to license plate problems, phone numbers, passwords, PIN numbers, and lock combinations, okay? Um, I'll try to go through these quickly, so if you need to rewind uh, to watch some things again, that's obviously okay. Um, in Connecticut, license plates have two letters followed by five numbers. How many possible license plates can be made if repetition of letters and numbers is allowed, okay? That concept of repetition is a huge uh, qualifier here when we're talking about possibilities, okay? So if we think about the two letters that come first, there's 26 letters in the English alphabet, okay? So there's 26 possible values that could go in uh, those first two locations on the license plate, okay? Now the five numbers that follow, well, our possibilities are from zero to nine, so there's 10 possibilities for each of those five numbers. Numbers can be repeated, so then I'm gonna have 10 uh, options in each of those locations, okay? So the number of possible license plates in Connecticut with this, um, this format is gonna be 26 times 26 and then times 10 to the fifth power here, okay? So there's a possible 67,600,000 uh, license plates there, okay? Let's see what happens if we eliminate repetition though, okay? The first letter still has 26 options, okay? But let's just say we use the letter A in that first letter, now A is gone, okay? So we only have 25 options for the second spot, okay? The first number, there's still 10 digits that are possible, but we're gonna eliminate one digit with each step that we follow, okay? So we've had 10 options for the first number, then nine, eight, seven, and six, okay? So when I multiply these seven values together, you can see we eliminate a lot of possible license plates if we get rid of repetition, okay? So we're down to 19,656,000, okay? So a huge difference between those uh, possibilities there when we take out uh, repetition, all right? Phone numbers, uh, seven-digit phone numbers, okay? Uh, if numbers can be repeated, again, I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. So, you know, the, any value, the first number, the second number, so on, there's 10 options for each of those. So we're gonna have 10 to the seventh power is our possible phone numbers, okay? Which is 10 million, okay? If we eliminate repetition, okay, then it's gonna be 10 for the first number, then nine options for the second number, and so on down until we get to our seventh number, and there would be four possibilities there, okay? So the number of seven-digit phone numbers available, if numbers can't be repeated, is only 604,800, okay? Now, in part C here, Connecticut has four area codes. How many possible phone numbers are available in Connecticut if numbers can be repeated, okay? So if numbers can be repeated, we're back up here to part A, but there, each number, each seven digit number could be used four times. As soon as you change the area code, the phone number is changed, okay? So we're gonna have four times 10 million. So there's 40 million possible phone numbers in Connecticut, okay? So moving on to passwords and PIN numbers here, okay? And I'm gonna change things up a little bit here. Uh, we're not gonna be as, um, as similar in terms of problems as we were up here. We're not just gonna talk about all possibilities and then take it out repetition. Uh, so you wanna watch these carefully, okay? So passwords, how many five letter passwords can be created if the first letter must be a vowel, okay? So for us, we're talking about A, E, I, O, and U there, okay? We also say that letters can be repeated, okay? So the first letter has to be a vowel, so there's only five possibilities in that first spot, okay? Um, so then our next four letters, anything goes, so we've got 26 uh, options for each of those, okay? So we've got five times 26 to the fourth power, which is 2,284,880, okay? Um, how many five-digit PIN numbers can be created if numbers cannot be repeated? Okay, so that goes up. It's kind of like the phone number problem in part B here. Uh, we're gonna have 10 times nine times eight times seven times six, okay? Um, which gives us 30,240 possible PIN numbers, okay? Finally, and again, I do things a little differently here with the lock combinations, all right? There are 39 numbers on a lock. Uh, those range from zero to 38, okay? If the combination consists of three numbers, how many possible locker combinations are there if numbers can be repeated, okay? So we're gonna have just 39 to the third power, which is 59,319 possible combinations, all right? Now this last one though, what if the last number must be odd, okay? And numbers can be repeated, okay? So for the first two options, we've still got 39, okay? 
but for the last one, it must be odd. So, you know, between 0 and 38, okay, 19 of those numbers are going to be odd. So we've got 19 possibilities in the last spot there, okay? And that gives us a total of 28,899, okay? So that's some very basic fundamental counting principle problems. Uh, shows you some examples of when things are excluded from possibilities uh, and what that does, okay?